Here's from a ninth grade student about We the Living. Kira, uh, the heroine, <clears throat> works for the government and goes to great lengths to keep that job because the choice for her is spread Soviet propaganda or starve. Well, let me just interject there. She was a museum guide and was hired to give historical uh, uh, information, not, uh, you know, about the exhibits in the past, not uh, to praise uh, the Soviet regime. Although, of course, your point is right. She would have taken uh, such a job if it was necessary. But you have to contrast her with, with he, in this regard, with Victor, who actively joined the killers, sucked up to them and wanted to rise as one of them. That's two different ways of coping with uh, uh, a totalitarian dictator. He was a villain. <clears throat> she was a, a heroine helpless before the system. Now he goes on, to what degree should one support a totalitarian government uh, to uh, ensure one's own happiness? Well, those words are misplaced. You cannot ensure anything in a system where you are at the mercy of outside forces at any second over anything. There is no sureness and there is no happiness. You cannot achieve happiness in a condition where you're prohibited in pursuing uh, any values. So uh, the only thing you can do could ask to what degree should you uh, support in order to uh, keep yourself alive? And obviously the answer is you do the absolute minimum uh, necessary to keep yourself uh, alive or to keep specific loved objects alive, uh, such as Leo. That's all you can do. Uh, but even there, it's impossible to draw lines. Uh, now, Kira, for instance, deceived Andre, Andre uh, uh, continuously in order to uh, get the money for uh, Leo to keep him uh, alive. Obviously, that was okay. Uh, what more could she have done to Andre and still be uh, moral? Could she have crippled him? Could she have killed him? This is the point. You cannot state moral principles to guide human life under circumstances when life is impossible. There is no ethics of how to behave when behavior is incompatible with when the situation, the framework, is incompatible with life. This is the same as the lifeboat question. Only three people can survive when there's five in the lifeboat. What should you do? There is no what should you do uh, in a case like that. Someone is doomed and nobody can be asked to accept doom as his standard. And consequently, there is no answer. You fight it out, you, you make a deal, you jump over, there is nothing that anybody can tell you as rational ethics. And uh, the same is exactly true in a dictatorship. If you can spare the innocent and still escape, then of course it's monstrous not to. But if it came down to your survival versus mine, uh, it's exactly like the lifeboat. And that's outside the province uh, of any rational uh, choice.